Okay, come back to them. Come back to them. I'm sorry. Go back. Yeah. It's an honor working with someone who's so legendary in her craft, but the nice thing is, is when you work with someone and actually you just really enjoy the way they go about creating. And I actually noticed yesterday we, we set up a shot with Annie. It didn't work for her and we scrapped it. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna not do this. I remember thinking to myself, that's interesting because being a filmmaker, I would have just shot it thinking, oh, it's digital now. We're not shooting film. Let's just shoot it. We have it and everything's set up. You just push the button. Why not? And her feeling was, no, why push the button if, if it doesn't work? I think the story that Annie's brought together and the cast that she's brought together is, is the dream that most of us have at a certain point in our life. They're taking this journey together and they all have their integral parts of their story to tell. So that's what happens on road trips. You go out and you find different places that you've never seen before and you expose exposed to different people. Myself being an actor, Ben being a director, John being a musician, Talia being an artist. Everyone here has a different creative outlet and that's actually like inspiring. It's our chance to use the opportunity of going in a Lincoln Continental out to the country on a road trip with friends. It's nice to have a narrative in your mind, a story, a road trip with these interesting guys. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Annie thinks of herself, and she is a more of a journalistic photographer, so it's got to look real. Being a filmmaker, it's not about that one moment. We're shooting 24 moments every second, and I have time, and I can move. And she has to find that one moment in time that tells the whole story. Let's say you're on the street. Uh, there might be a little bit of, uh, take my picture before we head out or something. Okay, okay, that's great. She had this amazing assortment of old black and white photographs that resonated this road trip feel for her. She showed us sort of um, a lookbook kind of, of scenes that would happen. I'm doing this in grids. I'm doing like four pictures together. So it looks like a little travel log. So this is the first grid. I'm literally going to shoot the car like this. And you see pieces of the car. You don't really see the whole car and then you eventually piece it together and that's my job. She understands what she wants from a, an image and we're there to help, you know, facilitate that. So it's always a collaboration with her. Can she sit on like where the ornament would be uh, if, the, if that car had an ornament? Sure. <laughs> you want her on the hood? Yeah. Annie's probably the most uh, in tune with her character's identity with every element, the clothes, the makeup, the hair. So for her, it's a real collaboration. I'm a big fan of you starting with how you guys really dress and who you are. We're not trying to change you or make you into other people. I love how she likes to keep it pretty authentic to who you are. Like, I love how she was like, just wear what, what you've come in, wear your own jeans. What would you wear on a road trip? So it's nice when it's it's personal. Danny asked me to bring personal effects for this road trip, um, and seven being my, my most prized personal effect, and uh, some pads that I write on, things that I, I would have actually brought on a road trip. I mean, my job with Annie is tricky because she doesn't want fake things, and that's what I do. I create fake environments as a set designer or production designer, so we do a lot of image research, and especially for this job. It would always be the last direction she gave was when we were in real conversation, and that's when she would obviously capture real life. Annie's interesting in that way that stuff that she said she liked best was when I truly forgot that the camera was there, and we were, the three of us were just, this morning, we were literally having a conversation, and she said, we're done, and I didn't realize she had started. Gentlemen, that was great. We're gonna, we're gonna turn the car around. You just have to be yourself and feel the energy of the other people. And, you know, just be natural, like you're on a road trip doing your thing. Thank you, we're done. Okay, bravo. Check the game. Yay! Get out of here before I change my mind and want to do 12 more things. Thank you. That was great. I was saying it would be actually quite nice if we literally all took a road trip straight away after this. Why don't you go in the Lincoln? Guys, just get in the Lincoln. <laughs> no, get in the Lincoln. Everyone was pushing in. It's just get in the Lincoln.